Hi everybody, thank you for watching Sandra's Art Studio. Today what we're going to do is cover these two outlets. Actually one is an outlet and the other one is a switch. And I already disabled this switch and this goes for the disposal because we're like right next to the sink as you can see right here, okay? So what we're doing is covering these outlet and switch to match the rest of the backsplash, which it makes it aesthetically more pleasing. So this is something that I wanted to do over six years ago when I moved into this house. And now that I'm actually doing this as a business for people in my area, it's actually working out really nice. Okay, so before we get started, there's a few things that you need, like some paint brushes and primer, okay? It really doesn't matter what kind of primer you use, you can have like an exterior primer or an interior primer. It really doesn't matter. Just get some primer and apply the primer onto the outlets before you get started. But before you even get started, clean those outlets really good, okay? And here's another tip. Make sure you disable the outlets that you can disable. This is the disposal. So I disabled that one because every time I paint it, I don't want the disposal to go off, right? So I have my covers taken off because when I prime them and I put them back into place, I don't want to have the grooves uh, with primer. So I take it off for just that special occasion, okay? And of course, I'm going to have my water. I use an old egg carton for mixing my paints. This is very practical when you're done, you just go ahead and throw it into the recycling bin, okay? And then of course, here I have all the paints that I'm going to use and in this case, I'm going to tell you the paints I use are very inexpensive. Just good old acrylic paints will do the trick. Here I have some folk art and I can put it on the description, patio paint outdoor. So I find, and this is made by Deco Art, I find that they are very durable and they're very inexpensive as well. But I find that, um, for some of the treatment that you're gonna give. And it also has like a little bit more adhesiveness to it. It sticks a little better, I should put it that way. So for the amount of like cleaning and spraying and all that stuff, this is kind of like an upgrade to the old acrylic paints that I was using. I mean, I still have the acrylic paints because ultimately I'm going to cover it with this clear coat. And a lot of times I end up mixing acrylic paints and then the outdoor patio deco art paint and it's okay you, you can totally mix it now don't get into mixing oil paints and enamel paints no everything is acrylic water-based paints okay all right now that i have my covers painted with primer i put them back together and the first thing i'm going to do is try to match the overall color which in my opinion is like that uh umber yellowish earthy tone and if you don't get it on the first try don't worry about it keep going because anyway this type of project needs a few layers. Why? Because there's so many colors and also there's so many patterns. So you wanna just keep going and going. This is my method. I just keep applying the layers and I keep trying to replicate the patterns that are around the outlet. And when I'm happy with that, then I can go ahead and clear coat it. But at this point, if you see um, how I'm removing the outlets from the backsplash to clean the background is because I don't have a protective layer protecting my backsplash from the paint because the surface of the backsplash is so smooth and glossy that it's really easy for me to scrape off the paint or just wipe it off with a wet soapy cloth. So that's the reason why I don't have a protective layer on my backsplash. Now, if this backsplash was porous, that would be a different story. I would have clear adhesive tape on my backsplash protecting it at all times because if it's if the surface is porous you're never going to get that paint out or you're going to leave a stain or two that would be annoying i also want to let you guys know that the light is actually creating a reflection on these outlet covers that makes it or it gives it kind of like a blue cast so I tried different things and it seems like I just cannot get rid of it. If somebody has the information of how to avoid that reflection, that would be awesome. Just leave a comment. And once I'm happy with the way my covers look, I take it off the wall and I complete the edges by extending the colors that I already see. 
you will see me doing this in a moment and you want to make sure that you go over these edges a couple of times because it's so easy to miss it and I'm not worried about matching the background splash because I already did that on the face of my outlet and once everything is painted the edges are taken care of and everything I let them dry for like a good hour acrylics do dry kind of fast and then I assemble it back onto the wall and I spray it with this clear coat, which is a protective coat also, which in case it gets dirty, you can easily wipe off. And I found this product on Amazon and I really like it. I've tested it a few times. I don't think it's bulletproof, but I think it's going to last a long time. And that's exactly what I want. Um, so once I apply all the colors and I'm getting ready to clear coat, I'm going to do that as it is assembled onto my backsplash. If you have a porous backsplash, then you want to protect the backsplash from the over spray. In my case, I'm not because this glossy backsplash is easy to wipe clean or scrape it with a credit card. Once I'm done clear coating my outlets assembled on my backsplash, I take them apart one more time and I clear coat them outside because now I can get the edges really good and once it dries I go ahead and assemble it again and that's it I'm done project done I just want to say thank you for watching my channel and I appreciate you guys liking subscribing and hitting the notification and hopefully I'll see you guys on next Sunday and if you have any comments of course leave them and I will answer as soon as I can thank you